Hello everyone, got the uh, GY plate mounted. Uh, a few little things I want to point out. I had really wanted to mount these the other direction so that the uh, adjustments and everything were out here in front. Uh, I tried it, it was uh, really easy to get at, but what happened is, is this distance from center line out here is a little too much uh, for clearing the riser housing. It actually come over here and kind of hit here on the surface. Um, if you were to disassemble this and shave off 60 to 80 thousands off the top of this, that would clear through, which I might do at a later date. But right now, uh, it's mounted with the adjustments in the back, which makes it a little more difficult to get at for me, anyways, with the limited space that I have here. The uh, other thing that I wanted to point out was it was a little difficult getting this. Uh, tensioned up from one end to the other so what I did was um, I was going to go get some bigger clamps to clamp this down but then I decided that there might be a little better way so what I did is I got some 5 16 diameter all thread and uh, put it down through the center two holes and then of course I have uh, washers and nuts for mounting on the bottom side what this allowed me to do then is is to uh, basically leave these nuts uh, well actually I, I tighten these two up on the top um, just to make sure that these are flat and square with this upper extended carriage and the bottom one um, what I did then was I left the tension off of these and then I, I was able to basically pull the two together uh, by just tightening up these nuts on this uh, thread uh, and then I, I adjust the tension here and made sure that you know this was nice and solid it wasn't spinning the only thing is is you have to make sure that you space it between two bolts um, it won't clear the threads on the all thread won't clear the heads of the bolts or these center pieces so you, you basically have to uh, put them in uh, in a spot but it sure made it a lot easier um, and basically I kind of over torqued it at first so that they were real tight and it wouldn't move so I just simply loosened them up a little bit each time loosened one up and then loosened up the other one and then uh, until it started getting some free movement and then from there um, I ran it back and forth and I checked and I had a little looseness on this side so I retensioned it over here ran it back to the other side and there was a little looseness on this side so I retension it in this spot right now um, it runs pretty true um, don't have any looseness at any position along the rails uh, I will say that if you put this together and you throw it and it goes flying off that means you don't have enough tension uh, and you probably have some loose spots and you're gonna have looseness in the system right now it's pretty tight uh, there's uh, it, it still moves freely. It doesn't take much effort, uh, but like I said, uh, it, it's got pretty good tension on it right now. So I think that I've got it pretty much in the right position. So um, that's uh, where we're at right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on getting the gear rack on the back here next. I have a couple things I want to work out location-wise, and then uh, we'll do another video when we get to that point. Thanks for watching.